What's up guys, this is Shana and today we are in Savio Riana Dutamas at Segambut. Let's go! We are now in Segambut, which is an address adjacent to the famous Mong Kiara. So in the skyline, you can actually see Mitek, you can actually see the sky rise of Mong Kiara. But physically, you are not as connected. But right adjacent to the site will be all these schools, very old industrial zone. And that was the origins of this address. And it's not as fancy as what Mong Kiara thinks, but the marketing always push that this is next to Mong Kiara. That's why the name called North Kiara which is weird but the entrance that we come in just now it was a little bit too sudden right off the main road and right opposite the building will be a school and coming in suddenly you will feel eh it's a different place because of the landscape treatment so you can see here these are all the factories and it will be a lot of heavy vehicles driving around the site and it's actually separated by this Fencing, but unfortunately, the dense landscape couldn't do much. Lah. So coming in from the entrance, there will be a road, and this will be part of the road for the drop off. And you notice that it's a very low ceiling. Check out the floor tiles and some hardscapes to the logo. Pretty cool. Then you have somewhat like a tunnel feeling across this column that is decorated into somewhat like a stone. Very nice. Then at the side, you will have chill out area, which is next to the car park. I don't understand why, but it's well decorated with pebble stones, timber decks so far. So we just went through the lobby which is very very well done in terms of finishing there's a swing the transparent wall is so nice it gives you that welcoming feel going into the lift lobby and right next to that will be the latter room and what a setting because most of the time latter rooms are like that hidden spot this one is very open and it opens up to the green area right in front of the entrance here you can see a lot of landscape treatments Unfortunately, because of the adjacent factories, you have advertisement brands here. Then you have the school right opposite, which is SJKC Kai Chi. Then right next to the latter room, this will be the kindergarten. That is very well done in terms of interior design. So interesting, right? It's so fun. This will be the park. It also serves as a buffer away from the residential building to the main road. But it's a little bit too close to the road. So it's still not as friendly and safe. It still needs supervision, but at least there's space for the kids to run around. And we are now in the car park area. So all are open. There's no basement car park. And you can see it's using flat slab system where it's very tidy. And you can see the structural system. Usually people three car park base, there will be the column. They are actually applying to four. Check it out. Right, so that opens up the entire car park space. You have less columns. Then at the end of the building, there will be a futsal court here. And it also serves somewhat as a buffer away from the track, also from the river. And there will be cement flooring, some epoxy just for pedestrians. And this will be the walkway into the lift lobby. But what I don't like, I know it's efficient, but to put the motorcycle Park space next to the lobby. Nice. So coming out from the leaf lobby, we are now in one of the highest floor already. That's why it looks bright. Then the width for the leaf lobby will be 2.7 meters. The height as well for 2.7 meters. And what I like is there's no fire door. So on one side, you can see that will be Jalan Kuching that will connect you all the way to MRR2 then to Selayang on that side. And this is the Kambut town. It's very low dense. Therefore, you will have a um, block view on this side. And I just love 
the mountain views. Like. Then right opposite, which is the next orientation, you get Mong Kiara already. And per floor, they are actually 16 units divided by 2 served by 4 lifts. 3 passenger lift, 1 service lift. So you have 9 units on this wing and you will have 7 units on this. Then for the corridor width, it's 1.5 meters. The height will be 2.7 and you have a very nice void in between. So this opens up ventilation and daylighting for the toilets and the bedrooms. And usually this brightness only applies to the upper floor units. So that's one of the benefits of you picking floors that are higher up there in the building. Going into the unit, this will be the foyer. So this will be the unit that we're going to check out today. It's type D. 852 square feet with two bedrooms only. So we have seen layouts that is smaller than this size with three bedrooms. So the two bedrooms here is going to be really, really spacious. And when we come in through the door, you will have the kitchen on the side. Then there will be a yard connected to the aircon latch. Then there will be the void area. This will be the dining, then the living, which seems rather spacious. Pretty direct. Let's go check it out. So coming into the uni, straight away you will have your kitchen tucked in on this side. Then that will be the dining and living space already. And this is a width of 2.3 meters for your kitchen cabinet. And this is done by the makeover guys team. The hood and hop, you have your basin. And this is the wood surface. So it seems that the uni came in a bare furnished form. And that always allow the ultimate price of the uni to be cheaper whenever they want to sell the project. By the way, if you look into the portals today, price for a freehold unit like this is around 530 over 1000 and the rental for such a unit is around 2002. Right next to the basin, you will have your NATO window here and you have the wall tiles up to 5 feet high and this will be the location of the fridge. And this is something also very weird, like a lot of apartment units are designed without the proper position for a fridge. This is very, very weird. Then going into the yard space, this is the location for the washing machine. And they add on the grill here, just for security issue because it's a little bit too close to the corridor. However, you can see some chips coming out already. Then what's weird is this flooring does not have a drop. So just in case if this overflows, there will be a possibility of water flowing into the space itself. Then going through the dining, going through the living, the space is wonderful because the width here is around 3.4 meters and the ceiling height is 3 meters high. With this width and with higher allowance of budget, right, there can be another fixed cabinet here just to decorate and tie up with the fridge area. There can be another workstation actually. So it will look way better because you will have the width. Then you have floor tiles for your flooring with tiles as your skirting as well. And you don't have a balcony here, but I don't see the point also. Like. Right in front, you can see a lot of construction works are taking place. And that will be the KTM track. And because there's no balcony, right? There's no need to provide circulation space for people to just walk through into the balcony. So suddenly 3.4 meters for a living space is very, very nice. But then you point out in this location, right, that distinctive price difference between addresses just by a mere street away. And literally, if you throw the stone hard enough, you will reach a building that is around 700 to 800 per square feet. But the main difference here will be the profile of your tenants. There will mostly be expats. Here will be the locals who are working within proximity. Then going in through the corridor, there will be a drop here for the aircon. And because it's a two bedroom setting, therefore this corridor is really efficient where it serves three different space right if not you need to have another stretch just to cater another room full house up no shower screen you will have gbh for basin and gbh for wc you have minimal drop for the shower area which is weird then you will have frosted window at the side connected to the external then right next to that, this will be the first bedroom. And maybe due to cost of furnishings, they didn't put in a queen size bed. Like. Because the size of the room is rather spacious. 3 meters by 3.7 meters. And the daylight quality here is nice. But one weird thing in this space, this is a structural element and this pocket here is very, very weird. 
and look at that jagged element there. That's so weird. Anyway, in this room, you can still put in a lot of things where you have a study table as a work desk here also can. Then moving on, this will be the principal bedroom. This principal bedroom is even bigger than the one before. This is 3.5 meters by 4 meters. And that direct opening up to the facade is very, very nice. You have the Mon Kiara view just at the living space. But how I wish the window could be slightly bigger. And you kind of think of it, right? Sometimes the window scale is a direct translation to a project, whether it's in luxury or is it middle, upper, or is it standard market. Yeah, how I wish it could be. After putting in a queen size bed, your bedside tables, you can still put in a wardrobe here. And there's a box up right in front of the door but you still have a lot of circulation space around the room like this is luxurious way and that is often the big debate also so in this principal bedroom it's borderline overbuilt if you want it to be big then go further where you can put in the set of sofa or a work desk and a dressing table along with a wall in wardrobe and stuff right so it needs to be that scale for it to be complete if not right this extra space are just wasted compared to a version where i can cater another room for the exact build up of this unit so which one would you prefer it's 900 square feet still three bedroom but two bedrooms smaller or two bedrooms that is so spacious something to think about then going into the principal bathroom we have the same gbh basin and wc they have full high wall tiles no shower screen water heater added on by the owner and frosted window and you can see that that will be a construction site opposite. You can actually hear the noise now. And I think that's all for the unit. Everything seems spacious, right? In terms of dimension, the rooms and all, very, very nice though. Well, let's go check out the facilities. So coming out from the facilities deck, there will be two exits, one coming into this private space where you have timber decks. I think these are for people to do yoga or pilates. And this is where they have the garden units as well. So you will have the balcony. But it's just very weird whenever I'm hanging out here and people doing yoga. Weird, right? Anyway, there are also benches. There are also some walkways with artificial turfings. And here you can see it's right in front of SJKC Kai Chi again. So I think that the developer has done its best, maximize the buffer between the road and the building itself. Huh? But you can still feel the intensity of noise around. Well, may it be from the economic activities, may it be from the traffic, may it be from the construction. Well, that's the characteristic of living within the CBD. Ultimately, this one street away, you can reach KLCC, Jalan Ipo, Jalan Kuching, Mong Kiara, Jalan Duta. Amazing, amazing connectivity. And this will be the new block of Savi. Then we are in the lift lobby of the facilities that again, and there will be units within here. There will be a separate key card access to go in. That's nice. Welcome by a lot of landscape and you have swings this side with the pool this is a swimming pool that's the wading pool with some fixtures of chest that's very nice the flooring materials are awesome and I like particularly the landscape species treatments you can see in one glance here, there's like several different types but the colors are all coordinated Nice. There's a barrier away from the garden units. They actually play with the level a little bit. Two to three meters above the facilities stack to create that barrier in height and using landscape as the physical barrier. So that's nice. And we are now at the children's playground. Pretty cool where you have the rubber tiles to prevent concussions. The usual slide, some rock climbing. But what I don't like is the distance away from the steps this is too close imagine when the kids just run dup, 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 dup. similarly as a platform here it's wonderful it's nice but this is dangerous 
anyone can just fall in without being careful how I wish there could be a form of barrier then next to the playground area you will have an aqua gym here this looks so much fun from the entrance itself you can already feel that the landscape treatments for this building is nice but this is beyond my expectation check out the small little scrubs around the chess play area wow so just when you are enjoying the walk around the facilities deck there will be construction noise everywhere in all directions and that's the consequences of getting earlier phases although the price can be one of the lowest one where you can almost ensure capital appreciation provided the project is doing well you need to go through all this imagine within a township where you have a lot of buildings that is coming up you need to go through all this all the time and Rihanna Dutamas apparently it's a township as well where it consists of different commercial functions different commercial buildings so we are now in the multi-purpose hall which is located next to the swimming pool itself and because it's surrounded by water it gives you that feeling of being afloat on water so that's cool then you have a setting that is somewhat like a conference hall hmm. you have projectors here but just that the resolution might not be right this looks more like a business meeting room rather than a space to host your family and right outside this will be the barbecue or an outdoor dining area then the walk around the facilities deck is just very very comfortable where the landscape treatments is really very nice and the colour treatments right like this is so unique rarely we get to see this combination of different species all together it's troublesome to do but then the effect is surprisingly nice and that will be the river then KTM track. Then also you will have a platform here for your gym above the conference hall and overlooking the pool. Okay, so you have that different dynamic range. You also have some outdoor workout areas which is rather cool because not everyone likes to work out in the air condition room. And for those who wonder, eh, why so close to Mong Kiara but the price difference to some units is almost 30 to 40 percent higher and the main reason for that is actually the surrounding ultimately real estate is driven by the surrounding and within a five two minutes drive away it's a very short distance 2 km 3 km but because of the series of traffic light for this local road plus all the additional junctions to prospective factories and all schools and etc it's a nightmare for driving here there's a lot of showrooms warehouse industrial areas then the shop lots if you look into the business trades it's all suppliers like aircon part supplier motorcycle part supplier car part supplier and etc the traffic is just crazy because you will have lorries in and out all the time that's a usual scenario here and then you will also have very unique stalls around here to cater for the working crowd around and some kopitiams also this is a classic example where traffic congestion will happen so the traffic here seriously and the noise the congestion wow so that's something that you need to take into consideration but if you are actually living in the uni itself it's not too bad and i think that's all for now uh, let's find somewhere quiet to do the tree on tree so the three things i really like number one would be the location itself so this is considered prime where it's a junction away from Mong Kiara then you're also a junction away to KL city center so once you go down a roundabout you'll connect to Jalan Kuching and that brings you to Jalan Sultan Ismail and KL CC will be just on the other side you will be Jalan Kuching as well going into Kepong and you will share the same access to highways just like Mong Kiara where you have the NKVE, Duke as well as Sprint so that will bring you to main addresses around the city already so it's very very connected and i'm not too sure whether it's this another plus point but the ktm station is also around the corner so the second thing would be the material application and the landscape treatments around the common areas like once you drive into the residence the guard house looks very grand and when you go in you're welcomed by this open space then you look into the very decorated columns that is somewhat like a cave for you to slowly go into your dwelling 
and the lobby is amazing and when you go into the facilities deck the landscape is so nice sometimes when you apply too many colors to a certain location it sometimes becomes too cheesy but this is right at the edge before cheesy it's beyond my expectation when i come in i never would have thought that the landscape treatment will be so good and last of all my favorite thing would be the value for money if you can't think of it and if you are very familiar with the dynamics of the pricing of properties around the location this is easily like 30-40% cheaper than Mong Kiara itself which is a street away and everything within the unit itself is very very spacious the corridors are spacious the, the entire interior space is very very spacious especially the width the height and for 900 square feet you have only two bedrooms and that's also a debate lah but if you come to think about the value for money phew. then the three things i don't like number one would be the noise that's why we are back in the car <laughs> seriously too noisy already people honking here construction noise lorry loading stuff unloading stuff it's just intense and when you match that to the busy timing where the traffic is just building up right it's going to be pretty busy so there's something to think about because currently there's a lot of construction ongoing where it's also the adjacent new block for Savio which is Savvy right so that's the second phase and when we test in the unit the window somewhat can isolate out the noise to a certain degree when it's really really quiet during the evening or weekends right i'm not too sure what's the condition but this is the weekday condition lah and very close to that the second thing will be the traffic planning if you can see the roads here are local roads to begin with we're supposed to serve the industrial area with some houses here it's not meant for a lot of cars because mong kiara came up jalan kuchin came out then segambu becomes that in between location where people need to drive through it that's why you can see the cars are crazy you have a lot of junctions and the way they control traffic is still by using traffic light and when you have too many traffic lights packed within the same road right that's where bad congestions happen yeah and last of all would be the micro elements surrounding the project where you have industrial areas factories warehouses old shop houses old old structures that's the main reason why there's a price difference still between this address and the address right opposite which is mong kiara and this proves the importance of infrastructure for a particular address as well but that's beyond the jurisdiction of the developer maybe when rihanna dutamas the entire master plan is completed it will give this Sagambut a brand new facade, a brand new image but until then it's still going to be this hustling side of the town and do I like the project? yes because right after you turn in from the main road right immediately the entire experience is different and it's created by that very clever and the very sophisticated landscape treatment it's as if you are entering a different dimension altogether and once you mingle around the space a little while you actually forget about the surrounding until you need to travel out for lunch or for dinner then you will face reality again lah. but i also have colleagues who have invested in this and i guess that's all for today if you really like this episode like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is shantan ciao